The Texas High School Football Hall of Fame inducted New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees into its 2011 class in Waco. The former Westlake Chaparral never lost as a starting QB in high school for the West Austin area school. To get a chance to see all my old high school teammates, you know, there was probably about 10 guys that came to the ceremony. Uh, all of them part of our state championship team back in 96 uh, when we beat Abilene Cooper up in the Texas Stadium. So those are all great memories, still some of my best memories uh, at any level. The NFL Offensive Player of the Year in 2008 was also the MVP of Super Bowl 44. There is only one group of family members in the Texas High School Football Hall of Fame that can claim three generations of inductees, including Drew Brees, his uncle Marty Akins, and grandfather Ray Akins, who won over 300 games as a high school coach. Obviously, it was a tremendous honor to be inducted into the Texas High School Football Hall of Fame. Um, you know, that's something that I've watched both my grandfather, Ray Akins, and my uncle, Marty Akins, both get inducted to as well. And I was at both those ceremonies back in 87 and 91. I always hoped and dreamed that someday I'd, I'd have a chance to be inducted. It's fantastic. I mean, knowing that my dad is in the Hall of Fame and knowing that Drew's in the Hall of Fame and, of course, uh, me being lucky enough to be in the High School Football Hall of Fame is, is, is really a great honor. Marty was a quarterback for his dad at Gregory Portland High School in the early 70s, leading the Wildcats to the 1971 Class 3A state title game where the Battle of Wildcats went to Plano 21-20 at DKR, Texas Memorial Stadium. It was a great time for me. We, uh, I think we were 34-3-1 and one when I played there at Gregory Portland, and uh, we had a lot of great seasons, had, had some really, really good teams, and, and went to the state championship game my senior year. And I mean, it was, a, it was very memorable to be able to be coached by my dad. He's a great coach. He won. 302 games in 38 years that he coached. He he was the kind of guy that taught you how to become a man, how to, how to have character and discipline. Marty was a passing quarterback in high school under his dad's pro-style offense at GP. We threw the ball quite a bit. And of course we ran too, but we probably threw the ball half the time and ran half the time, which was, which was highly unusual for a high school team back then. And, and we were very adept at both running and passing, and, and so I, I was considered a passer. Marty would sign a letter of intent to play football for Darrell Royal at the University of Texas and not only learn the wishbone offense, but earn the unprecedented starting nod three consecutive seasons at quarterback. Marty had an offer from Notre Dame, but chose the horns over the Irish because Coach Royal reminded him of his own father. We all feel extremely lucky that, that uh, we were able to have him as our coach. And, He's a father figure to every player that he coached. Ray Akins would go on to win 302 high school football games in his coaching career, 208 at Gregory Portland, where he coached from 1965 until his retirement in 1988. His Wildcat teams won 16 district championships and made the playoffs 17 times. The stadium at Gregory Portland High School bears his name and is now called Ray Akins Wildcat Stadium. I remember I hugged him and told him, you know, thanks for being such a wonderful dad, and thanks for showing me all the things that he had shown me and, and the, our, the former players. There were, there were hundreds of former players at, at that banquet that night when he got inducted into the High School Football Hall of Fame.